Hey, it's Dr. Brad bringing you the latest in supermoon news. That is, yes, we have two supermoons in 2022 on June 14th and July 13th. Now, what is a supermoon? Uh, technically, it's called a perigee sigi moon. Perigee means the closest approach in an orbit around the Earth, so the nearest point, and Sigi being the alignment of objects in space, in particular the Sun, Earth, and Moon. So it means close alignment of Sun, Earth, and Moon. Hence, Perigee Sigi Moon, or somewhat easier, Supermoon. So why do we get this Supermoon or Perigee Sigi Moon? Well, we imagine the orbit of the Moon as a fairly nice circle, but it's not. It's actually more egg shape. And so sometimes the Earth is closer to the moon and sometimes it's further away. So this apple is going to be my moon and this is the side of the moon that we see here on Earth. And the Earth is camera. So sometimes it is closer in its orbit and sometimes it is further away in its orbit. Now when it's closer in its orbit we call it perigee. And by being closer it appears a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter in our sky. When it's further away, it's called apogee, and therefore smaller in the sky. So this variation isn't actually that big. The average distance to the moon is about 384,400 kilometers. At perigee, the closest of point, it's 363,000 kilometers, and apogee, 405,000 kilometers. So it's a difference of about 40,000 kilometers. So if you had the moon side by side with perigee and apogee, the difference isn't as dramatic as one may think. In fact, the moon can be 14% closer or bigger in terms of size and about 30% brighter from the closest point to the furthest away point, perigee and apogee, but on average, it's only a few percent of either, so it's not a dramatic difference in the sky. So how do you see the supermoon? Well, the best time is at sunset, right around that time, because a sunset is when also the full moon rises. So as the sun is setting in the west, the moon is rising in the east. And because the supermoon is a perigee sigi, meaning alignment of the sun, earth, and moon, it is always a full moon. Now a full moon always looks biggest as it's rising in the horizon. And this is actually mostly just a trick of our eyes. We have other buildings and trees and things to compare it to. And we also have a little bit of distortion from the atmosphere. In fact, kind of a simple experiment. Hold your thumb next to the full moon as it's rising in the horizon. And then when it's a bit higher in the sky, and you'll notice your moon and the thumb are essentially the same size. Now, to see the full moon or see the supermoon, uh, you don't need a telescope. It is so bright. It is so beautiful. A telescope is for seeing fainter objects. But this moon, the supermoon, is so bright, you don't need it. If you're going to wheel at a telescope, the best time to see uh, the moon with a telescope is when it's a thin crescent moon and you can see a lot more detail. The full moon will be almost too bright to look at through a telescope. So is the supermoon special? Well, not really. In 2022, we have two. On average, you have two to three per year. And that is because that orbit of the moon varies constantly by 40-ish thousand kilometers. So every few months, there's always a supermoon. And in fact, even the term supermoon is ill-defined. It's not an astronomy term. Uh, it comes through kind of just general colloquial language. And so there's not a specific point where you can say the moon has to be this close for it to be a supermoon. If it's 5,000 kilometers, is it 10 or 20? When is the cutoff for a supermoon? I actually don't think it matters, though. I think it's a great opportunity to go out with the kids because the supermoon always rises at sunset. It's never too late in the evening to go out and see a beautiful full moon. It's never a wrong reason to go up and appreciate our beautiful skies. So anything that is getting people looking up and appreciating the beauty of our universe, I enjoy. So I hope you catch the supermoon. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and make sure to subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date in space.